How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to another Brood War cast. We've got Sock here in the top right-hand corner, Jadong in the bottom right. It's time for your daily dose of Brood War here on Blitzy for some ZVT. Just spotted this game. It was played very, very recently. It was... Uh, February 15th of 2024, and we are recording this on stream, by the way, guys. Today was uh, a bit different. We accidentally broke our S key on the keyboard, so sadly, we can't really ladder right now. We're waiting for a replacement keyboard, and that should be coming here pretty soon. So until then, we're just going to do some studying. Watch some games, do some casts. Probably be doing the same thing tomorrow as well. So if you feel like stopping by, be happy to have you. We've got Sock here, starting with a barracks down on the low ground. It is an eight racks here. Supply Depot gonna be set up on top. And I'm imagining here, you know, if we had a Supply Depot here, um, that we would get a wall here and we would just be going into a command center. But with the supply depot up here on the high ground, it's going to be that eight racks play into a gas, I believe. And there it is. The gas is going to be taken here right after the supply depot is done with the same SCV that built the supply. SCV going to head across the map for that scout. And we're going to have a marine trickle coming here. Now... Jadong has seen that. He's managed to spot the uh, SCV coming here. And very good play from Jadong having this first uh, drone out. To just kind of spot and see what's coming. He saw that with the Overlord as well. And putting some damage on this first SCV is actually huge. It's really important that you damage the first SCV. And even that you uh, stop here. Oh, he actually got two more hits on it too. Look at that. It takes 12 hits for a drone to kill an SCV. He's already put about six, maybe seven hits on that. So it is going to go down pretty darn quick if he tries to start a bunker here. Second Marine is coming. I think this is a perfect hold from Jadong so far. That's the eighth hit. Only a few more here. He will be able to take that down. Oh no, only, only three more hits actually. Three more hits, excuse me. To finish that off. So I don't think that we'll see Sock finish this bunker here. We just need to pull a drone or two. Oh, oh, he's going to bring the drones. Okay, one drone did go down. Two drones fall. Can he get a third? Okay, just two. Two is okay. Two is kind of even with the eight racks. I'm surprised we didn't see Jadon kind of pull his drones away. And try to just fight with the lings there, but... He did try to fight with the drones. He cleaned that up pretty well. He's got only drone production after this. He didn't make a huge amount of ling. So I think he's going to be fine here. There is a vulture on the way, however. And the starport being constructed here in the main. It's a 1-1-1 build from Sock to follow this up. And you do need to have that sunken colony done here. So a little bit late on the sunken colony. He can buy some time with the lings. We'll need to do so as the Vulture already heading across the map here. You really want to start this by like 3.30. You want to start the Sunken Colony by 3.30. But we saw like 3.45. And the rush distance on Blitz Y is very close. Let's see if it finishes in time. Looks like just barely going to finish here. Maybe a little bit slow on that Vulture timing was Sock. And there's the Starport making the first Wraith. Overlords are going to obfuscate on the map, try to hide themselves. Find some find some spots where they can't be found easily. Getting ready for any uh, run by here from the Vulture. Losing a Ling there, but dropping the Vulture down to very low HP. He's not going for a, uh, a speed follow up here. Instead, it's going to be a Hydroden. But going for Hydroden and Spire... That does uh, make you a little bit thin here as the Zerg player. He's going for the Hydra so he can keep his Overlords in his main alive. Uh, against this Wraith. See the the uh, Hydras are just going to pop here. The real plan is to go for Spire a little bit later. 
Oh no, if he loses one Overlord in the main, that's actually really painful. He will. Ooh, he really didn't didn't want to lose that because now the Wraith, you can see, he can come through here, he can scout everything, he sees the Spire, and now he can go and try to find these Overlords around the map. He doesn't really have to kill Overlords here at the main and natural anymore. Just start looking around. Eventually, he'll find these, I imagine. That's exactly what he's doing right now. He's looking everywhere for those two overlords that are missing. And back at home, we're going to be switching into a bio play off of this. We have the natural almost done. And the bio play is going to come. Looks like something happened to that... Um, that vulture. Did it get picked off by Ling? Yeah, it looks like maybe this Ling got it. So not having the vulture is a little painful, a little bit painful, but he does have the marines in the bunker at least. He's going to be popping out more marines here. He hasn't made any future vultures. But another kill on an overlord finally does find that one. Drone going to be sent out to the bottom left. And finally mutas are on the field here. But what can he get done with the mutalis right now? We've got the engineering bay. We have a science vessel. Still researching. Oh man, there's actually no turrets here in the main. This is a bit of an oversight. We should have turrets by now. These turrets are quite late here. Looks like he's going to try and draw the mutas away with the wraith. Just to buy himself a little bit of time. The marines are going to have to come up here. We've got two scourge as well. This is very scary. He's got to target the scourge. He targets the scourge pretty well here. He does get one hit with the scourge. And one turret does finish up. This is still like almost game ending damage here. This is so much damage from these uh, mutas, which was completely avoidable here if he'd gotten his turret started at the correct time. Losing those two Scourge is a little bit frustrating. He will have uh, Irradiate here now, and we should see the Irradiate come down on these uh, mutas now. We don't have any more Scourge here to dive bomb them. So where is that Irradiate? He's going to pick the highest HP one that he can spot, I think. And try to go for that. There's the Irradiates at the bottom of the stack. But beautiful pull out there by Jadong. Oh, wait. Not as good as I thought. He pulled out, uh, I think, three Mutas with that clump. And almost all the Mutas end up going down here. Just two remain. That actually looked like he pulled out the, the correct one immediately. But it looked like... I guess he pulled out three Mutas in that clump and ended up losing quite a bit. Hydra's now on the field. We will have Lurker here. With the plus one now getting started as well. Transition is coming. A lot of pressure here for Jadong. He can try to dive bomb one of these. Uh, but unfortunately getting the Irradiate off immediately. And splitting the vessels away from the Scourge. Man, this vessel count is getting kind of high and scary. We've got three vessels already. A fourth vessel about to pop out. That's a lot of irradiates to deal with a lurker attack. I'm not sure what he's going to do with these hydras over here. Lurker has just begun. Oh my god. Did he actually forget the lurker upgrade? Oh, that's really painful. Oh boy. We've got... Um, some TTS here in my ear. Just a second, guys. I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. Forgot about that. Mutas here. Sharking around the natural. Looking for a vessel. But the vessel count is getting a little bit unmanageable at this point. We really can't do anything with the uh, with the mutas here. Oh man, the split was a little bit rough. Takes a lot of damage. But eating up some of the uh, irradiate energy is still pretty good. The Lurker very, very late here for Jadong. He's just going to start these pretty uh, pretty soon here. As the Marines move out on the map. Still don't have that Lurker upgrade done, guys. We still don't have that. And the Hydras are actually over here. Rather than over in the natural. So he's going to have to defend with Muta against... Look at this. Even if we do make Lurker, there's four vessels here. That are all going to have a Radiate. These lurkers are going to finish. All four are going to get irradiated here. 
And I think we might see a sock victory. Can he actually push through for the win? That's quite a lot of Marine moving down here, but he does get a pick off on one single medic that's crossing the map. There goes the lurkers. They are going to burrow. One, two, three, and four. I think he actually wasted one irradiate or one, yeah, one irradiate there. Um, because I saw five irradiates go off. But that's fine. All of these lurkers go down. And now he should be able to break the natural. Or can we? Quite a few lurkers running around here. There are some lings. This is a small-ish marine medic group. We don't have a lot of barracks yet. But we're getting to that number. Oh, the lurker flank here. Actually insane. What a great flank by Jadong. He's going to catch these reinforcements as well. And he picks off three vessels. Oh my god, this is so, so well done by Jadong, man. What an incredible play there. Just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That flank changes this game completely. I thought he was about to die, and Jadong just makes it work. Sok here now completely on the back foot. He's building a second starport. He's starting to send out some vultures, maybe to get some mines out. Because we are going to see uh, Defiler play come in here pretty soon with Lurker. Oh god, really stacked up on the Marines. Ends up losing a bunch of them. Could end up losing both of these uh, Science Vessels too. He's got to be careful. One Science Vessel goes down. Pretty well done there by Jadong. Now with all the pressure here. We're going to start to set up some mines, I think. Oh, we don't have mines. We really need mines. Oh, okay, maybe we do have the upgrade, but there are no mines left. Yeah, he does have mines here. Setting up mines in the front is really smart. You can prevent the lurker counterattack from coming into your natural. Or at least delay it by quite a bit. Vessels here are still being pumped out en masse, but the vessel count has been reduced severely. That was the thing that was really scary about the army from Sok, was just how many vessels he had going into the mid-game here, but... With that vessel count being reduced, he is much, much weaker here. Much, much more vulnerable. The Vulture is going to sneak around at this left-hand side. They will be spotted by the Overlord and probably caught and killed by these Lings. But it's a good idea, right? You want to get some Vultures out on the map to try and make something happen. Bunch of Marines are going to get caught here by the Lings with that armor. Able to cut through those. Really well done. No... Uh, medics with that army, unfortunately, for Sock. Looks like not quite going to get that vessel. But a good attempt there, bringing forward the Lings, trying to tank that damage. So that he can get a kill. Still bringing that vessel count very lower. Back up to five now, but guys, we were at five vessels with the last push out. We've just barely made it back up to that at this point. More lurkers being made here. A couple Scourge going to connect. This Defiler will be tracked down, it looks like. Unfortunate here for Jadong, but trading it for a vessel, not the worst. We should have some more Scourge popping out here shortly. And a fourth base on the way for Jadong. Vessel's heading down here towards the bottom left. He's going to look for some radiates down here try to open up a position if you can find some area that's not completely protected oh, boxer absolute boxer marines here that was really well done by sock look at him dodging the spines back and forth really impressive stuff vessels here need to be brought forward to deal with the dark swarm with the uh, defiler but end up getting picked off Coming forward with the vessel. Looks like he's going to lose another one. Oh, that's so painful. Another vessel going down. So many have been lost. And another big flank here with some uh, Dark Swarm coming in from behind. This army could get completely crushed here. Look at that Dark Swarm from behind. The massacre as the Lings tear everything apart. Oh, my goodness. Brutal here for Sock. He loses all. All of these units and all these medics going down as well with very high energy. 
I don't know if Sox stands a chance at this point. Jadon gonna get fourth gas online. Two drop ships, two lotto ships. It's gonna be the last hope right now for Sock. He's going mass Hydra with Ling and Lurker Defiler. That's a great way to close this one out. Just having massive amounts of units here. Rather than trying to transition into, you know, um, uh, Ultralisk or something like that. Just go ahead and have a huge standing army. Try to overwhelm whatever forces are sent out by Sock. It's like one vessel going to go down there. Sock not paying attention for a moment. He's got a lot of mines out, which is very nice. Having mines here means a lot of free units are going to go down. Or a lot of units are going to go down for free, I mean. Hydra's moving around this left-hand side. We've got some Ling over here ready for a counter. Looks like these vessels are going to be caught on the left-hand side. Being very aggressive with the... Oh god, he lost the dropship. Well, that's, that's the lotto ship gone. Not good here for Sock. Trying to get in there, but there's so many overlords here paying attention to this drop path. There's just no way to get in there. And Hydra's here. Gonna make their way onto the high ground. Marines without medic support. Do not fight that well against Hydra, especially with good upgrades. Two armor already being done. Some big connections on these mines, but... I think there's enough uh, links to actually soak those, and the Hydra should be able to deal with everything else. I'm going to draw these into mine. This could be big. Gets a pretty good hit with that mine. A second mine actually going to clear up everything. That's kind of insane. Nice D-Matrix there. Keeping that alive. Really playing around the mines beautifully. We will have Siege Mode done here shortly. Lurkers trying to make their way up. But Marine Medic will be blocking them. Vessel here to get rid of the lurkers as well. The siege up is about to occur. You should see it tanks sieged up all along here. You can hit everything coming along this path with that. But he's not quite set up yet. And I think Jadon wants to push the issue here. He's coming forward with more units. It's like he's going to lose this defiler. But the defiler should be able to put a dark swarm down right in front of this. He needs to back up with his, uh, with his units here. Keep them alive. Another Dark Swarm right in the front. Oh god, he's going to start to lose SCVs here. As the uh, tanks siege up. The vessels need to come back here to clear this. We need Vessel here. To save the uh, command center. Losing a ton of Marines right now. He's going for a desperate counter attack. But I think Jadong should have enough to hold this off. A lot of Hydra are coming out of the natural. Plus Defiler. One Dark Swarm holds all of this off. And even without the Dark Swarm, oh, a Plague instead. He just wants the kill. He wants the kills here on all of these. And he's picking off a bunch of vessels on the retreat as well. Beautiful moves. Really great moves here from Jadong. He's going to lose another vessel, Sock. Crippled right now. Barely able to contend with the army of Jadong. Jadong has so much going for him. He does not have a fifth base up yet, but even on four gases... He can produce a huge amount. Still not at that 21 minute mark when things start to dry out. So he's got some time here to work with while he grabs his fifth base already. That's kind of the long time the long-term plan here for Jadon. In case he can't kill Sock, who's sitting on three bases here. He needs something else beyond this. Picking off another vessel here in the middle of the map. Sock trying to get some quality irradiates down, but Jadon punishing him for each and every one. He should be able to come up here and irradiate all these from the high ground out of the range of the uh, the Hydras here. And I think that's what he's about to do. I'm going to find some lurkers over here. A couple of good irradiates come down. But again, responding with the Scourge. This is something that the best Zerg players in the world are always able to do is respond with Scourge immediately to the vessel move out. More tanks finally getting up here to this high ground. The catwalk over here on the right-hand side of the map. Two more dropships come out, but that's going to be spotted by two lings from Jadong, which is quite frustrating. 
Not able to two-shot the Lings anymore because we do not have any upgrades on these Vultures. And plus three is already done. Plus two only attack is finished for Sock. He does not have a long-term plan, guys. He is just hoping for the best here with these Lotto ships. He's going to try to get in there. And deal some damage to Jadong. Try to make some space for himself on the map. He has no plus three. He's got no upgrades coming for the tanks. He's just trying to distract right now with as many of his bio as he can. Trying to take a good fight here. While getting in with the drops. He's going to fall back now as the drops come in. Jadong should be cleaned up with this army. What kind of damage can he do here in the main? There's the, the uh, Dark Swarm. Would have been nice if he had some fire bats in here as well. You know there's going to be Dark Swarm here to deal with this. And mostly Lings for the defense. So fire bats could have done very, very well. But he's actually doing better than expected with just this drop. This drop alone is actually managing to do quite a bit. But we're still way ahead in drones here for Jadong. Jadong still mining gas uh, pretty happily here. Bunch of Scourge being migrated over towards this... Uh, dark area on the right hand side the dead space over here on this side it's gonna be filled up with scourge so the next drop that comes through not gonna be able to deal that damage again looks like one drop ship made it back home and sock is just about out of gas here guys he really doesn't have much left going for him he's still got a few vessels popping out here but he is completely on the back foot He's just run out of minerals in his main end natural. He's going to float a CC forward. I guess he's going to try and take... Oh, God. He's going to lose this. All the SCVs in there going down. That's unfortunate. He's going to mine these out so that he can land and take this base. That's a desperation play here from Sock. Trying to take this uh, island location. Whereas Jadong is spreading out on the map. Taking more and more bases. We're going to have... It. This uh, vessel try to run forward and kill off the Defiler with the Irradiate. He does get the Irradiate, but a good plague comes down. The Marine Medic just kind of walking back away from this. Generally, you would like to stim, but I guess he didn't have that luxury. Now going to stim up here. Try to take this fight. Firebat's not the greatest against these Hydralis that are now three armor to attack. That is so strong. Finally, will come through and clear this out. And we should see this landed here in a moment. We don't have a dropship to bring SCVs down here, but GG is called. One last scan comes out from Sock. And he leaves this game. I want to go back quickly for a second here and take a look at that fight. The fight that we saw with Sock. Where Jadong did the amazing flank. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. This was a really desperate situation for Jadong. So let's just take a look at this again. We just saw four lurkers get picked off at the front. We've only got lurkers out here in the field, and it's only four. Only four lurkers here. We've got a full group of marine, and I think a little bit more than a full group. A few medics, and we've got four science vessels. Four science vessels. They're all going to have a radiate again here pretty soon. Oh, these ones are pretty darn low. 13 energy on two of these. So, not for a little bit, I guess. But this is wide open. We've still got some lings. We've got one sunken colony. But we do not have lurkers in position. Lurkers are going to come from behind here. We'll just watch this moment of brilliance from Jadong once again. Right as the army's coming down, he's sending the links forward. He's bringing the lurkers around. He's got the, the scourge here ready. Scourge here ready. And we're going to see how he engages this. Waiting here. Okay, he stops for a moment. Waiting for the uh, marines to overcommit. He wants to get a full surround here. The marines are on the ramp. And the... Lurkers come in from behind. Here comes the Scourge as well with the Mutas. Link's coming from the front. Here we go. Perfect burrow here right in the face of Sock. And here comes the uh, Scourge. The moment that everything has to retreat is when the Scourge come forward. 
so beautifully timed there by Jadong, even getting on top of these last few Marines, killing them all off. And this was really the moment where the game turned. This is where things went uh, quite bad here for Sonk and Jadong running away with this game from this point on. Losing so many vessels there. We lost three vessels. And then we might even lose more if we have some more Scourge. Looks like we don't. But losing those first three vessels is kind of unforgivable. The Marines coming for the uh, rally here end up getting picked off as well. If Sock had been sitting back a little bit further, we couldn't have had the full surround. He could have uh, stimmed and backed up. Laid down another round of uh, uh, irradiates and maybe pushed through for the win. But a perfect surround by Jadong lands him a great game here and an awesome win over Sock, who is performing kind of out of his mind recently and will be in the ASL. I'd love to see these two guys face off in the ASL. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely a fun game here. We'll see you in the next one.